Hey, my name is James. I'm one of the pastors here at Bayside and so excited that you're joining us for today's Refuel. The last several weeks, we've been in a series called Keep the Faith at Bayside. We've really been talking about holding on to something that eventually holds on to you and that's that belief and trust in God. I want to take just a moment today and talk to you about what you're focusing on because whatever you focus on, you fuel. Whenever we're in seasons of high trouble, tension, or transition, we tend to zoom in on the details. We tend to zoom in on the problem or the pain. And when you zoom in on something, it's part of the picture, but it's not the entire picture. I'll prove it to you. Zoom in for a second. Check this out. You're seeing part of it, but you're not seeing all of the perspective of the picture. I think about in the second half of scripture in Matthew chapter 11, where John the Baptist, the one who was announcing the soon coming king, the Messiah, Jesus himself, he's made this announcement. He was there to baptize Jesus. He heard a voice from the heavens say, this is my son in whom I'm well pleased. This same John the Baptist in Matthew chapter 11, he says, hey, are you really the one? Are you the one? that the prophecy said would come, or should we expect someone else? See, John the Baptist, in this moment of pain, he's in prison, and he's kind of zoomed in on the details. He's beginning to question because of his current circumstances, is God really God in the bod, in the form of Jesus? Is there somebody else coming that's gonna liberate me from this prison? He's trying to have a faith that'll endure, but all he can think of is, why is he not escaped? Well, I want to take you to Matthew chapter 11. I want to go verses four through six, because I think what Jesus does, he gives John the Baptist a a zoom out on doubt perspective. He, He lets him zoom out on it and see the entire picture of what God was doing. This is what it says. Jesus replied, go back and report to John what you hear and see. The blind receive sight, the lame walk. Those who have leprosy are cleansed, the deaf Here, the dead are raised, and the good news is proclaimed to the poor. Blessed is anyone who does not stumble on account of me. What Jesus is doing right here is he's recalling the Old Testament prophecies hundreds of years before Jesus arrived on the scene and was announced by John to be the Lamb of God who would take away the sins of the world. Hundreds of years before, it's prophesied that this is what the Messiah would do. Jesus zooms out on this moment to give John a bigger picture of what God was doing. I wonder what it would look like today if you zoomed out. I know you're going through some difficulties. I know you're going through a a tough time probably today and in this season of tension or transition or trouble, you're going, man, is God really with me? I wonder for a moment if you could zoom out and look back over the course of your life and go, has there been moments and mile markers of God's faithfulness if he's been faithful in the past? The good news is you can trust his faithfulness in the future. I think if we zoom out on doubt today, we can really focus on our faith. Thanks for hanging with us today. We look forward to talking to you soon.